So a lot of people ask me questions. How do you add categories to your eBay store? Here's my eBay store here and you can see, first of all, you have to have a basic store number one. Uh, and then you're gonna see once you're in your store, you're gonna see shop for categories. So a lot of people will shop for categories. So this is the category section here. You can see how it opens up like that here. Then you can see this categories and then you can see here there's subcategories. We have books, we have new and used. So how do you create those and how does it work? I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get into the video. Today we're talking about adding categories to your eBay listings. So how do you add categories? Well, first of all, you have to have a store. So make sure you have a store. That's the first thing you have to do. You can get a basic store. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and then basically what you want to do is go into your actual store itself. So let's just go into the store. Let's head into my store and I'll show you exactly what to do. So once you're logged in and you have a store and you're in your store, you can see a tab here on your top right hand side that says manage my store click on manage my store and that basically takes you into all the different settings so now you're going to see on your left hand side here says store category store newsletter things like that you want to go to your store categories so this is how you add categories and also sub categories okay so that's really important so you see here we have this one under art and under art we have framed art and statues so those are sub categories under bedding you can see here there's two new and used okay so you can create categories and also subcategories under each one so really simple to do so all you have to do is add a store category so let's add a store category we'll just do a test one here we'll just write test so you know and we're going to click on test all right and it should be in alphabetical order under test and you can see here test so here's our test category and now under here if you want to add a subcategory see here add subcategory so we'll put in here test test one all right and then we'll add test two test two so now those are subcategories so you can see here under test you can see here now this is two drop downs test one and test two so that's how you add categories and that's how you add subcategories so really simple to do really easy and just so you know, those will not show up until you choose your categories in your listing. Just because you create a category doesn't mean it exists in, in, your, in your store. You have to actually create a category and then tag it to the actual category itself. So say you add um, a coin uh, and let's say a dollar bill uh, and you made a category for dollar bill. And it's not going to show up until you create a listing. And then use your drop down into your menus and just say, okay, now I'm going to add this to my category and say dollar bill, and then it'll show up in your drop down menus. So that's how that works. A lot of people get confused about that. They don't see it right away and they want to know why. And that's all you have to do. And to get rid of that category, you just have to hit delete. This deletes everything within that category and that is gone. So they made a really super simple. I want to make a quick video about this. People keep asking me, um, I keep getting questions, you know, how do you create categories and subcategories? This is how you do it. Real simple. Follow this video and you will not get confused. If you have any questions or, is or issues, leave a comment down below and I'll be glad to answer them. Any way you need help with, let me know. Leave some comments down below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out quite a bit so I can continue helping you guys when you have issues and troubles as well. I appreciate it always and I'll see you at the next review.